Hello everyone, I am Scutlist, and welcome back to this playthrough of Warriors Orochi 4. This episode, we'll be looking at the One-Eyed Dragon and the Genius. And for the sake of being in control of a deification for the first time in this playthrough, Nal Tora gets to come back to the team. So without any further waiting, let's get started. ウデオの力を引き出したまだ広大な防衛の準備を始めたとのことです。戦わねばならぬか。ま、Right, it says the way, but it seems like we're actually it's actually mostly uh the Jin characters. It, it it's so funny, it's the Jin faction, but there's still the way. Jin has only been mentioned a few times in Dynasty Warriors. But okay, let's get started. Zingu, now then, for uh, this, this to access a deification, we need to access Raid, so we need to get 300 hits and then defeat a Chaos Origin. I see the, the first Chaos Origin we can fight just on the other side of this gate. Let's just maintain our hit for now. And this should get us our tier of the gods. There we go, now... Is this clump really big enough to justify a deification? Well, for demonstrational purposes. The, the deification is the general buff, but the main thing is that she can spam her unique magic as much as she wants. Okay, that's not entirely true. The unique magic still needs a bar of the Muso meter, but as you can see, the Muso meter regenerates when we're deified like this. She does that uh, that unique magic attack however does have the problem in that it seems to have trouble hitting enemies that are directly beside her or behind her that Nobu Yasa guy is not going to get hit by this Really in general I find I'm not very fond of Naotora's magic Ho Hopefully the later deifications we get will feel a bit stronger than this. And it's about to run out. <laughs> well, it, what, what, isn't that just the most dramatic transformation over animation?
Anyway, I may have set, said it somewhere before, but one of the main things that drew me to eventually start playing as Kotaro is because he shares the moveset with Dodo Meki, who I actually find one of the more enjoyable or she exclusive characters to play. Even though Dodo Meki is pretty much just barely above the rank of generic officer. <laughs> Okay, uh, I can only assume Dung's eye is a power character. Anyway, Kotaro's unique magic is a fun little thing where you mark the enemies and then attack. But th if you mark this many enemies, the attack is probably going to damage the frame rate a bit, as you just saw there. A pincer attack at least means there will be enough enemy officers to justify unity magic. Alright, come together, everyone. I could have drawn one more or two, but uh, three enemy officers seems good enough. I will say I'm not a big fan of Kotar's Muso. It's a, it's a bit hard. Sometimes it can be difficult to get the enemy you want to stay in the attack. It's really nice that you can seem to I interrupt any normal attack with magic, otherwise Kotoro may have hit me right there. Hold on, when did Yuga Leon get here? So I just follow the routes and defeat every enemy officer, and I'm going to assume that'll be the end of the battle.
私が現れたいずれ敵にしますもう一刻を希少し桜と戦いましょう騎馬いるのなら必ず戦うはずそこまで見越しての行動とはさすがコウメ様レンレンやはり本物の諸葛亮が舞台を引いているとのことですそのとおりメリーこちらは要領南から迫る劉備の舞台を狙えいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいこちらの敵は手薄容易に突破できるそのカンヌの服が全力そうそうしますでね例の舞台を率いているのはやはり威勢を持ったグーストのことです本物の諸葛公務私は中立だよ可能性はあるIt seems I left the two enemy officers down there, but oh well. You know, I'm just noticing I have rage. I didn't notice that. In that case, let's do one final deification before the end of this battle. I mean, it does decent enough damage when you when it actually hits, but the the mechanics of this particular unique magic do kind of annoy me. Anyway, perhaps a unity magic will end things. Oh yeah, her 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 other two magic attacks are unchanged by deification. And I can't attack anymore. This battle is over. Man, that deification makes her normal outfit look conservative. Naruhodo, Jijo, what he kaishimashta. So tegai no fukashina sekai. Das surtameniwa, Chikarawa was irishkanayo desne. Hm, Onija no tone. この世界でも我が武を振るわん私も微力ながら尽くしましょう院長そして諸葛亮月へあえて嬉しく思うこれからもどうか私を支えてくれええ劉備殿ところでそちらの方々はわしらは信長の妙な力に無理やり従わされてな抗う気を伺っていたのよしかし信長様の力はあまりにもお強い考えなしに挑んではまたねじ伏せられてしまいますだからあなた方の力を試させてもらったの信長殿に対するだけの力があるかどうか皆の優れた部位そして団結力
お見事でしたこれからはどうか共に戦わせていただきたいそういうわけだまさか異論はあるまいなええこちらとしても戦力が増えるのはありがたいことですところで信長はゼウスと手を組んでいるのか腕輪の力を何に利用しようとしている詳しいことは知らぬが奴に腕輪を託した者がいるとは聞いたことがあるじゃが腕輪を渡した者の目的がどうあれ信長はそれに従うような男ではないむしろあの力を利用し己が思うことを成し遂げようとするそういう男じゃ戦力を整えたとして一筋縄ではいかんじゃろうな甘かける理由となる地の小十郎この芝中達の地戦も人も投資祭官運長この諸葛孔明龍の妻としての誇りを持つ Well, that was quite the vat of new characters. And we recruited Suma Yi, my second favorite Dynasty Warriors character. Alongside already having Yuan Shao, my number three, I just need Cao Cao, my absolute favorite. どちらが先に行く私が腕輪を盗んだあの男許してはおけぬ肝心などに目をかけるからそうなるのだまさか我らを欺きここに忍び込むとはな責任は取る待っているがいいペルセウス信長と直接対する前にもう一つ下しておきたい勢力がある孫権の軍だ父上もこの世界にああかなり以前からな信長にも頼みにされているようじゃ俺も会ったことがあるが虎を名乗るなかなかの猛者だったなそうかあれはお前の父親かうん父上ならこちらの事情を話せば分かってくださるかもしれぬだといいがな念のため俺はちょっくら準備を整えとくぜお前らは先に行っててくれ承知しました藤安殿もしもの時はよろしくお願いします軍に所属する者も増えてきたことですし戦に出ない者は修行に送ってもいいかもしれませんねうん皆が力をつければ闘争もより楽しめよう賛成していただけて何よりですでは準備を整えておきますよ All right, then it looks like we may be getting near the end of the f fight with Nobunaga. I would think Maybe two more battles one more to defeat soon Jian and then the final one to defeat Nobunaga and Past that looks like things are starting to move in the plots with a th with a Athena taking action, but We'll just deal with everything when the time comes that will about wrap things up for this this episode Next time, we will be looking at the Fierce Tiger of Jiangdong. So until then, 
I hope you'd enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.